Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today, I am going to be making a homemade pellet hopper extension for my LG 900. Stick around. So if you've seen any of my recent videos using my Louisiana Grills LG 900, you'll know um, really one of the only complaints I have about it is the size of the pellet hopper. Um, not super huge. It um, holds a fair amount, but if you're going to do a really long cook like a pork butt or a brisket, you're going to have to be constantly refilling um, the pellet hopper. And the reason I bought this was kind of, you know, I wanted to be able to cook some long overnight cooks and still get some sleep. So. I figured the only way to do it is to build the extension for the hopper. Now, Louisiana Grill sells an extension for the hopper. I believe last time I checked, it was um, $59. I think I've seen them as low as $49. And that will extend um, your hopper capacity by, I think, another 20 pounds. So the first step here is to measure the size of this pellet hopper. Um, you can tell by just looking at it, it's not really super large. Um, I've had pellets almost run out on me in a couple times, so I'm going to measure the width here from the inside of this tab to the other side. It's just about 12 inches, maybe just a hair over. And then there's a little bit of a flange here, and there's some screws. I want to make sure I fit inside the screw here. So I'm going to go up against there. And that appears to be about 8 and 1 eighth across. So first thing I did was went to Lowe's and bought a piece of quarter inch sanded plywood. It's two foot by four foot. Um, I think with tax and everything, it came to just a little bit over seven bucks. I want to cut a 12 and a half inch strip off of this um, going across the short dimension. That's what I'm going to end up using for my lid. Um, I want my lid to be a little bit wider than the actual box itself. That way I can uh, have a little bit of an overhang and I can, um, you know, maybe keep rain or anything from really getting into the hopper. Not sure. It's, I mean, it is wood after all. And then with the remaining piece, um, I'm going to cut a 12 inch strip off of that long way. And then I'm going to cut a strip that is um, seven and five eighths. The reason I'm doing seven and five eighths and not eight and an eighth is because I need to compensate for the thickness of the plywood and I need to remove a half inch off of that measurement. So eight and one eighth minus a half inch is seven and five eighths. So then I took the 12 inch strips and the uh, seven and five eighths inch strips and I cut them into 14 inch segments. 14 inches seemed to be about the right height to make this box any taller and it would kind of be difficult to get um, pellets up into it. I really didn't want to make it, you know, too high up in the air. And this looks to be slightly bigger than the dimensions of the um, Louisiana Grills extension that you can purchase. So I figured it would hold plenty of pellets. All right, so now that I have all the pieces cut, it's time to assemble this into a box. Um, I'm not gonna go too over the top of this. What I'm planning on doing is just putting some wood glue down each joint where all the pieces are gonna come together. And then I am just gonna take my uh, pneumatic brad nailer, my nail gun here, and just sink a couple nails in there. Um, those are really just to hold it in place until the glue sets up. This is all about the glue holding it in place. Now that it's built, I'm gonna put the lid on it. I bought a um, nice stainless steel hinge from Lowe's and a couple of um, bolts and nuts, you know, and I have some washers laying around just to reinforce it. I don't want the wood to break or chip. Um, so I'll measure everything properly. I'll drill the holes through there and I will get the hinge latched on there so that I have a nice working lid on top of it. Now for the test run, dry fit. Uh, open up my smoker here and you can see it fits in there really nice and snug. Um, I'm not going to worry about building any sort of flashing or anything to repel water. If I'm smoking something and it starts raining, I'm just going to toss a garbage bag or something over the top of this and not really worry about it. So uh, I'm not too worried about making it up really, really watertight. But now that I know that it fits properly, I want to spray paint it because it really sticks out like a sore thumb being plywood colored. I bought a $2 can of flat black, super cheap spray paint from Lowe's. Um, I'm going to spray all around the outside, underneath the lid, the hinges, maybe a little bit of the inside, but I'll do that last in case I run out of paint, just so it matches really well. 
there you have it. Fits perfectly. Looks like it'll easily hold another 20 pounds, probably more like 25. Now, the only thing that's left to do on this is to decorate it a little bit. I've got one more Dave's Ohio barbecue sticker. I'm going to slap it on the front. And then I've got several other stickers that are left over from um, different sticker swaps I've done. And I'm just going to start decorating this thing with any sticker I can get my hand on. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Press that little bell so you get the notifications every time I make a new video. And if you have any comments or questions, I'll leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And actually, I get a lot of my ideas for my videos from questions that viewers ask me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.